This just in, because of the coronavirus, Biden announced his running mate would be Senator Purell. This is News to Me, number 237. I'm Dave Colombo. And I'm Laura High. Top story, goodbye Super Tuesday. This week, Buttigieg, Klobuchar, Warren, and Bloomberg all dropped out of the Democratic primary. And while some have made the point that a race between only two men is sexist, it's not quite as sexist as completely forgetting Tulsi Gabbard is still running. Buttigieg and Klobuchar dropped out before Super Tuesday. The same philosophy I have with going to the doctor. I assume it's gonna be bad news, so I'm not even gonna go. Buttigieg dropped right out before Super Tuesday and then immediately backed Biden. It so obviously made a deal. Drop the act and just get Howie Mandel out here and claim your suitcase. Warren, who has a plan for everything, won no states, waited two days before dropping out, and hasn't endorsed anybody. So I guess her plan is to make everyone think she doesn't have a plan? Though to be honest, destroying Bloomberg's credibility in two debates did more for America than most presidents will in two terms. I find this sexist. She wasn't taken seriously as a candidate, but now everyone wants to know which man she's gonna get behind. It's the political bachelor. Instead of roses, it'll be powdered wigs. Bloomberg spent nearly $600 million in his campaign, which means it's time to play everyone's favorite game. Full college tuition to 7,000 kids. Medical bills for 120,000 Americans. 1,000 to every homeless person in America. Um, an unprecedented ad campaign to make myself seem less racist? Hmm. Fuck the 1%. He wasted $600 million and all we got was a big oops. If I lost $600, I'd lose my boyfriend, my dog, and my cat wouldn't look at me. The president has replaced Mick Mulvaney with Mark Meadows as chief of staff. You know, I think I got an idea. Is your chief of staff an eyesore? Have you forgotten what his voice sounds like even though he's at every meeting? Are you wasting valuable taxpayer dollars on the salary of someone who makes as much of an impact as a department store mannequin? Introducing chief of staff wallpaper. If they're not gonna say anything, they might as well help the carpet complement the furniture. Chief of staff wallpaper is easy to replace again and again. If you're not gonna stick to your core principles, you may as well stick to the wall. The president continues to stumble through the coronavirus response, though on the upside, it's nice to see misinformation spreads faster than any disease ever could. People are emptying stores of water bottles and toilet paper, showing no American knows how to stop a contagious disease, but proving again how much we enjoy buying stuff. The president said that he had a hunch the CDC was wrong in their estimate of the death rate, as opposed to his usual hunch while golfing. The president is saying the coronavirus is a democratic hoax? Dude, not everything you don't like is a hoax. Coronavirus is real. Russian scandal is real. Consent is real. Meanwhile, Americans are adjusting well to our new lives. We're about a week away from coronavirus mask Snapchat filters. Although it is the year of the rat, it's really the year of Purell. Those mofos are probably washing their hands with our savings accounts. That's it for this week. Tell a friend about the show. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And check out all of our other content from Blender Theory. And that's news to me.